This video will apply what we have learned about the behaviour of current and potential difference to solve some example questions involving series and parallel circuits. In this first example, we need to calculate the current in each of the three resistors and the potential difference across each resistor. We have a single loop circuit that contains one cell with a voltage of 12 volts and three resistors with resistances 5 ohms, 11 ohms and 8 ohms that are connected in series. Since this is a series circuit, the current in each of the three resistors must be the same. This circuit can be simplified by replacing the three resistors in series with a single equivalent resistor that results in the same current around the circuit. The equivalent resistance of resistors connected in series is equal to the sum of the individual resistances. So we find that this single resistor has a resistance of 24 ohms. Now observe that the terminals of the cell are directly connected to the ends of the equivalent resistor. So the potential difference across this resistor is equal to the voltage of the cell, 12 volts. We can now rearrange the definition of resistance to make current the subject and substitute in the relevant values. Therefore, the current through the equivalent resistor is 0.5 amps, and this is the current through each of the three resistors of the original circuit. With the current determined, we can rearrange the definition of resistance as follows to calculate the potential difference across each resistor. The potential difference across the 5 ohm resistor is equal to the current 0.5 amps multiplied by its resistance, giving a value of 2.5 volts. Similarly, the potential difference across the 11 ohm resistor is 5.5 volts, and 4 volts is the potential difference across the 8 ohm resistor. We can verify that these answers are suitable because the sum of these potential differences is equal to the voltage of the cell. This expression is equivalent to the loop rule and we have shown that energy is conserved. In the second example question, we want to determine how the readings on the ammeters and voltmeter change when the switch S is closed. Let's begin the analysis by considering the circuit with the switch open. Voltmeters are designed to have very high resistances so that they do not draw current through it. So we can assume that the 3 ohm resistor takes all of the current. Also, there will be no current in the branch containing the 10 ohm resistor, meaning that all of the current will go through the 15 ohm resistor. Therefore, we effectively have this circuit with the 3 ohm and 15 ohm resistors connected in series, so the current in both of the ammeters will be the same. The total resistance of these two resistors in series will be equal to their sum. So this circuit will have an equivalent resistance of 18 ohms. We can then calculate a current of 1.5 amps around the circuit from this equation, and this will be the reading on both ammeters. The reading on the voltmeter will be the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor, which can be calculated by finding the product of the current and the resistance, giving a value of 4.5 volts. We will now examine the circuit when the switch S is closed. When this occurs, we now have the 10 ohm resistor connected in parallel with the 15 ohm resistor, so the total resistance of the circuit has changed. In addition, current will split at the junction, so the reading on ammeter 2 will be different from the reading on ammeter 1. Let's begin by calculating the total resistance of the circuit. We can recall this expression to calculate the equivalent resistance of two resistors in parallel. Substituting the values of 10 ohms and 15 ohms and rearranging, these two resistors in parallel have an equivalent resistance of 6 ohms. This parallel combination of resistors is in series with the 3 ohm resistor, so the total resistance of this circuit will be the sum of these two resistances, giving a value of 9 ohms. We can then calculate a current of 3 amps around the circuit, which will be the reading on ammeter 1. The reading on the voltmeter can be calculated by multiplying the current in the 3 ohm resistor by its resistance, giving a value of 9 volts. Finally, to calculate the reading on ammeter 2, we can consider the green loop around the circuit and use the loop rule which states that the total gains in electrical potential difference 
is equal to the total losses of electrical potential difference in a closed loop. The gains in potential difference come from the cell of 27 volts, while the losses of potential difference come from the 9 volts lost in the 3 ohm resistor and the potential difference across the 15 ohm resistor, which we have found using the relationship V equals IR. We can now rearrange this for the current in ammeter 2, giving a value of 1.2 amps. Let's now compare these values with the values we obtained when the switch was open. The total resistance of the circuit decreased when we closed the switch because the resistor was added in parallel to the circuit. This meant that the total current in the circuit increased, which can be seen from the increase in the reading on ammeter 1. With an increased current in the circuit, the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor increased. But since the loop rule still holds, the potential difference across the 15 ohm resistor must decrease, and so therefore, the current through it has decreased as shown by the reading on ammeter 2. This now concludes our video on solving example questions involving series and parallel circuits. Thank you for watching.